let's look at how we use video feedback to uh, give good feedback to students. Um, first thing to consider is when would we use video feedback? Um, my personal preference is to use it when it is too difficult to write or it would take too long to write out what we want to tell the uh, student. Um, video feedback can be slow. It take You have to watch the whole video, maybe two and a half minutes, five minutes, and actually you might be able to give them the information they need in 30 seconds. So it's worth really thinking about it first. But obviously if somebody's going to benefit from seeing or hearing th something, then it's a really good idea. Um, I'm going to start... Uh, you'd use whatever it is that you hand out work. In this case, I'm using some uh, Google Classroom and Joe has sent me a spreadsheet. For technical reasons, I'm going to move to another browser window um, and I'm going to show you how to use my favorite screen capture tool or video capture tool, which is called Screencastify. Um, I'm actually using another product called TechSmith Snagit to capture me using Screencastify. Um, but I like Screencastify because it's really easy. So let's give some feedback to Joe. So here you go, Joe. Let's click on my browser extension for Screencastify and start recording. Okay, so Joe, this is pretty good. Um, the only trouble is you've made a mistake here. You've added the tax on, and instead of saying uh, multiply by B1, you said plus B1. So this, first of all, needs to be multiply. And secondly, I can see from looking that you've actually just typed in plus B1 each time. And I can tell that because otherwise, when you dragged it down, it would have it would have changed and you would have got it wrong like uh, like this if this was plus b1 and you thought okay well I'll drag it down and then it all went wrong what you really need to do is to tell the computer that this b1 mustn't change so we don't want to change the row so let's put a, a dollar sign in front there and then when I drag this down it'll all work beautifully and that's what you need to do Joe or strictly speaking that's what you need to do Joe can you see I checked that check my working Drag that down. Beautiful. So that now works really nicely. That's it, Joe. Okay, so I've stopped recording. Um, now, the example doesn't really matter, but the point is that this is something which to try and describe that in writing would have taken too long. The thing I love about Screencastify is I now want to share that. I just go Upload. And I'll make it unlisted in this case. Upload. That's done. That's the whole upload process. I, I haven't got to think about writing tags or anything annoying like that. If you want to, um, you can go to uh, YouTube and you can do a little bit of editing. So let's paste that in there. And then I want to go and edit this in the video manager. Now I always forget how to get to this. My solution is click on the pick. Click on the pick. Create a studio. That takes us here. Go to the video manager. There is Joe's uh, video. Let's add it to my test class feedback. And then if I want to, I can change the, the settings in here and put Joe Joe's feedback. Now, um, I've still got the YouTube um, uh, link on there, so I can uh, I'll just save the changes there. I can then go to here and in the comments for Joe. So click on Joe. Here's a comment. There's my feedback and post it. And that's it. It's done. Really, really simple. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you find it useful.